Okay. So, kunyari, kaya, sa database, puno na ba ang database? Paano ko malalaman? Normally, pag puno ang database, ah, puno yan dahil wala ka na storage. Paano malalaman storage mo? Kanina may kinuha na kukuman. DF negative H. Ito sa mga medyo medyo ka na, medyo expert na sa Linux, ito yung command, sudo df minus h. So, sasabihin sa'yo, ano ba yung used ko? Ito yung used ko. Ano ba yung available? Ito available ko. So, sa system ko, yung, gina yung ginagamit ko ngayon, ang na-use ko pa lang 7.8 gigs. So, meron pa ako 134 gigs na space. So, sa palagay nyo, ilang taon nito na gagamitin. Sa lahat ng systems na ginawa ko for huge companies or small, medium, and huge companies, ito, makukonsume pa nila ito within the next three to four years. Huwag lang talaga may file na malalak, file system ang isinusupport mo o file, file uploads na malalaki. Pero kung data lang mismo, database lang mismo, kahit sampung taon, kakayanin nitong 134 gigs na kwan na ito na space. Okay? So, when you when we are talking about details, yan yung mga details na pwede yung kwan. Pwede kong masabi sa inyo. Okay? One, two, three. So, konti pa lang. Yung iba ba naka-access na dito? O hindi kayo naka-access? We have roughly how many? Sino ba ang participants? We have 13. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Huwag kayong matakot. Kwan ito? Demo site. I asked permission already from the, from my client. This is my one of my clients actually. If you're asking me, di, ito legal to, ito yung sa mga client ko. Nag data clean up na ako for this one. So you can access this, you can sign up sa parent sign up so that you can experience how it is for a cloud. Remember, I just bought how much is how much is the how much is the the server, the virtual private server, how much did I pay for this? Siguro ito nasa 30 gig. Kung nakikita 30 gig, this is a $35 per month server. 30 gig yung memory niya. So, ng specs nito. Nakikita ko ba yung specs nito? Dapat. Ah, ito. Hindi ko na makita. Okay. So, DH negative F. Okay. DF, negative H. So, this is a 148 gig server na hard drive space. Tapos, ang memory niya ay 30 gig memory with four, four processors. So, ibig sabihin, malaki-laki pa ito. So, I'm just using this for, kunyari, school kayo, Wala kayong server. Amal na server. How much is a server? Sabay natin mga 250 to 500,000 to have one server. Di, eh, biglang nagka-COVID. Eh, kailangan ko na ng server for enrollment. Gagawa ko na application. Mag-rent muna ako sa cloud kasi pwede ko naman i-transfer ito anytime I like. Lalo na pag ikaw gumawa ng, ikaw gumawa ng application. I can transfer this anytime you like. And then after two months or after three months, oops, nakabili na ako ng server. Dumating na server ko. So, I can just transfer this one. Papalitan ko lang link. Di ba? Okay? So, next. So, balik tayo dito sa code. Papalitan ko yung code. If this is my code, I'll change the code.
system dot aren't news. Okay. Palitan lang natin to. Gawin natin file. Okay. Let's see. Ano ba itsura natin kanina? Saan ba tayo kanina? Ah, ito. Ito tayo kanina. Ito yung itsura natin kanina. Let's see what changes will happen. Tignan nga natin kung nagbago na. I-refresh ko lang. Ayaw. Alam ko rin i-run. Run. Tignan natin. Nagro-run ba siya? Invalid type down integer. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ito na lang. Ayaw eh. Okay, gawin na lang daw natin long. Okay. Okay. So, ngayon, question. This is on my local, right? Tama ba? This is on my local. So, ililipat na natin ito sa ililipat na natin ito. So, this is my local. So, we're gonna transfer it to the application. Training system. Okay. 
Potion. So training system. So ililipat ko lang siya dito. And today is 06-03-2020. So uploading it to, sa ko in-upload? Dito, sa server. Sa VPS sa server na pinurchase ko or na kinonfigure ko rin. So I'm transferring roughly at 1.2 or 1.3 Mbps. Medyo matagal lang yung pag-upload. Habang nag-upload, any more any questions? May mga violent reactions ba? Hello? Wala eh. Talagang wala. Wala. Masyado na ba, masyado na ba akong geek? Hello? Baka nakamute, nakamute lahat. <laughs> nakamute ba lahat? Minute lahat. <laughs> Hindi naman. Any questions? So what I'm doing now is ina-upload ko sa application server yung system na ginawa ko. Okay? So this is the application. Tapos na ba mag-upload? Yes. Tapos na mag-upload. So, ang gagawin ko, may nakalagay na ako dati dyan. So, nag-practice naman ako. So, tatanggalin ko na siya. Tapos, I'll be putting in the new application. So, this is how you deploy your new application to, the, to a particular application server. Okay? Ito yung day-to-day. -day. Normally, pag nagde-deploy ako, may date talaga. Para kung nagkamali ako, I can always roll back. Practice na yan. Practice na talaga. Practice nyo dapat yan kasi mahirap magkamali. Kasi once nagkamali ka rito, automatically, all of your branches, all of the people using your system, all will be wrong. Okay? Let's go back. Ano yung application name natin? Kung makikita nyo, training V7. Papalitan natin yan. Training V7. So, ipapush ko lang to sa inyo. Tingnan nyo na it's the same. Okay? So you can try that and it's the same. So you can access that. Anyone can access that and it will be the same. The same applications for all. Okay. Questions? May mga questions pa ba? Hello? Si Sir Bolti tahimik. Ewan ko bakit. <laughs> Nakita ko yung pangalan ni Sir Volti. Sir, late na ako nakapasok. Hindi ko lang nabutan. Hindi na ako makahabol. Ah, okay. Okay. 
So, na, na-access nyo ba? Just question, na, na-access nyo ba? Sa mga, sa mga nagkakuan. Na-access nyo yung application? Na-access? Yes? Or no? So, we have two application, this one and this one. Okay? So, number one, you should have an IDE. Definitely, you should have a framework. And then, sabi nga kanina, question nga kanina, you should be able to deploy it on a VPS, a virtual private server, wherein everybody can access, which is the VPS. Okay? Next. So, itong mga application, syempre, kagaya ngayon, cloud applications, meron siya sa cloud yan, or rapid yan, and what, ano ngayon ang pinaka-latest for cloud? Di ba? Di ba, meron kayo Android. Sometimes Android, sasabi mo, mobile application. The question is, ano ba talagang pinaka mas maganda? Less maintenance. Less maintenance is browser-based application. And currently, now, ang ginagamit na, na current ngayon sa mundo to future-proof your business or to future-proof your application, it's called PWA. PWA na ang tawag. And PWA is already used by LinkedIn. It's already used by Google. Actually, Google announced that they, they will be using PWA. PWA na talaga ang gagamitin. Even Microsoft. Even Apple. Yan ay magiging future sa application. Now, question. Actually, I, own, I already own a company. And bakit pa ako nasa Maap? Kasi... Honestly, ako, hindi talaga ako more on the design side. I'm not really on the design side or creative side. I'm more on the functional side. That's why I joined Maab because I know that Maab, in the future, design matters. Innovation matters. Creativity matters. So what we are doing at Maab actually is really creating our own identity and putting up our own digital presence to be able to be innovative to be able to be creative and just to be, to have an identity in the cloud or in the digital age. You can also, just to sample yung mga ginagagawin namin in the future, you can visit this site. You can try this. You can try this on your mobile app or on your mobile using your browser or you can use it, or you can use your desktop. You can try if you want to. Ipopost ko lang yung Ipopost ko lang yung link. This is just a test site. Hindi pa ito yung live site na ng Maap. Most probably mag, mag magiging maap.com yan or whatever. Pero yan yung ginagawa na. This is still work in progress for us. Okay. So I think ewan ko, medyo tahimik eh. Mas maganda last time maingay. <laughs> Mas gusto kong maraming kwan eh. Walang questions eh. Not much questions. May mga questions ba? Questions? Questions? Anyone? Question. Wala eh. Wala na question eh. Hmm, tignan natin kung may activity. Ilan nakalag in? And if you're actually shy to ask some questions, you can chat your question and then I'll read it for you.
question. If something is in your mind, you can ask. I'll be here to answer. A uh, question. Omar. Yes. Yes. Uh, once our application deployed, it could be a long run, or there's a possibility that a uh, due to the you know the browser, uh, there's a lot of browser that we're using, and it is not some are uh, migrating to another technology, and it is not already supported. Uh, my question is: It is easy to you know to migrate into the new browser base or maybe it's hard there's a possibility possibility na uh, yung application natin ay magiging garbage na lang uh, for few years dahil sa new updates ng mga browser ah actually that's why uh, for everyone this is what I'm currently using I'm using Baadin framework. I'm using Baadin from Baadin since Baadin 6, 7, 8, then 13, 10, 13, hindi ko dinaan 11 and 12. Then we have now 14. Ang experience ko talaga, this is Baadin 7. This is Baadin 7. And dito sa local ko, I still have Baadin 6. This is Baadin 6. Kira-run ko rin. Hindi ko lang pwedeng expose ito. Ayan. So this is Baadin 6. This is Baadin 7. And this is Baadin 14. So question... Paano ko nag-change ako ng application? Nagbabago ba ako ng coding technique o coding style? Hindi po ako nagbabago ng coding technique o coding style. All of my coding technique and coding style, they are all in Java. That's why I love Java because I code it once. I code it once. Meron siyang backward compatibility sa lahat ng ginagawa ko. So even though I, dip, I use the same code on a newer framework or a newer version, it will still run. It will still run as long as, as long as, hindi sasabihin ni Oracle na, may bayad na yan. Pero at this time, from Vaadin 8, 1.8, uh, yata, version, uh, uh, 1.8 revision yata, or version, 114 and below, alam ko wala pang bayad dyan or wala pang special kwan yan. Pero beyond that, alam ko, if a flag, pag ginamit mo siya sa production, if a flag ka na ni, ni Oracle. But you can still use OpenJDK. So, ibig sabihin, hindi masasayang yung mga code mo. Hindi nasayang yung code namin dito. Hindi rin nasayang yung code namin dito. Hindi rin nasayang yung code namin dito. So, walang nasayang na code, actually. Sir, we have a question po. Yes. Um, from Jello. What is, what if very basic yung alam mo sa pagde-database and uh, about IT? Meron po ba kayo mara-recommend na like sites na you can uh, learn about the simplest and introductory techniques? Uh, for simplest and introductory techniques, marami naman sa YouTube. But, ang talagang kinakon ko is get a mentor or get somebody who can, who knows you well. Kasi sometimes, oh, YouTube, sometimes hindi mo makukuha yan eh. Sometimes, mas maganda may nag-mentor sa'yo or sumasabay ka or join a community. Sa so, Vaadin, actually may isa pa ang community which is Vaadin Meetup, you can join our community and then ask questions. And definitely, they, people are will answer you, will we'll give you a demo if you ask for it. Importante talaga, may demo. Yun ang advice ko sa lahat. Join a community, get a mentor, and parang ask for a demo. Siyempre, ang rule of thumb, pag nasa community ka, siyempre, mag-research ka muna bago ka magtanong. Kasi kung nagtatanong ka na ang tanong mo, hindi, 
parang hindi mo pinag-isipan yung tanong mo, eh, sa community, ang mafe-feel nila, magtataka, hmm, pag-aralan mo muna. Dapat intelligent yung question mo muna bago ka nila sagutin. Yun ang rule of thumb sa mga communities. Definitely, there are a lot of communities, especially right now, na at the end of the day, talagang dapat increase natin ang capability natin sa sa technology side. Kasi, there's a lot of new, no this is the new normal. Technology is really vital. Hindi na pwedeng, hindi na pwedeng hindi mo alam. Hindi na pwedeng, eh, hindi pwede, hindi ko alam yan. Dapat ganito, dapat ganito. Hindi. Everything's out there. You just have to, you just have to learn about it. You just, dapat may passion ka. Kahit, kahit magka-COVID, kahit mag, pumutok ang taal, kung yan ang gusto mong gawin, dapat, kaya mo siyang gawin. Kahit from zero ka, kahit from scratch ka, matututunan mo yan, I tell you. After may mga tinuturuan pa nga before, eight years old, ano no, grade eight, grade seven, grade six, younger pa. Basta gusto mo, passion mo, basta kita mo yung bata, nakikita na interested talaga siya, automatically, matututo yan. Matututo yan, kahit from zero, kahit from scratch. Okay? Any more questions? Nasagot ko ba, Jello? Jello? Nasagot ko ba? Yes, no po. Very shy, si Jello. Very shy. Any, any more? Any more questions? Ito, ikakon ko lang, i-reiterate ko lang, lalo na ngayon nasa cloud, as much as possible, passwords dapat nag-change from time to time. When you create an application, your password should change from time to time. Sabi na kahit mahak ka, whatever. And definitely, either padala sa email o padala sa mobile phone. Yan na talaga yung ginagawa ng mga banks. And dapat, alam nyo rin yan or marami naman sa forum niyan kung how to do it. Hindi naman, wala, na, wala namang, ga, marami naman mapagbigay sa, pili, sa, sa mundo ng IT. Kaya nga, open source is a great equalizer sa, sa mga up and coming, up and coming developers, up and coming companies. Kaya nga maraming startup. I really encourage you to build your own startup. Kahit may trabaho kayo, for example, oh, I'm working kasi ako eh. Hindi naman mahirap. Mahirap, yes. Mahirap magkaroon ng side, ang tawag doon eh, side hustle. What if yung ginawa mong company o ginawa mong startup was able to develop a new normal? A new viral application. Di ba? Talaga yung encourage ko. Kasi, kasi at the end of the day, wala namang, kwan, eh, wala namang, wala namang tama at maling application. Actually. Nasa imagination na yan. Dito sa ma-app, maraming magaling mag-imagine. Di ba, Miss Hana? Kaya, actually, kaya ako nandito because of those people. A lot of creative people. Actually, in the future, BFX will be real. It becomes, if it becomes real, nako, ang tatawagin na talaga virtual store. Hindi na flat yung image. Kunyari, bibili ka sa Lazada, bibili ka sa Shopee. Uh, yung application, makikita mo flat picture. Yung pala, may illusion ng picture. Hindi mo pwede matwist, hindi mo pwede maturn. Maganda, yung product na twist mo, na turn mo. Yung product, nakikita mo talaga. Oh, to that smallest detail, makikita mo yung specs. Actually, dapat. Yun na yung magiging new normal sa development. Yun na yung magiging new, new normal sa application. So, mobile application will be gone in the next two to three years. Hindi na uso yan. Magiging ng PWA, actually. It's progressive web apps. Yan ay mga susunod. And sa mga app, inuumpisahan na namin yan. Ito na yung site namin for that. Meaning, this application can be both mobile app and can be both 
desktop application. So, hindi na siya, hindi na siya dalawa. Hindi mo na, hindi ka na magde-develop ng dalawang, dalawang klaseng application just to cater to mobile and just to cater for, for, for browse, uh, for desktop. Isa pang, isa pang makakatipid sila sa development, uh, instead, sasabihin, Android kasi ako eh, iOS kasi ako eh, uh, Huawei ako eh. Di ba, Huawei, meron ng iba na hindi na siya hindi na siya part, parang part ng Android ecosystem. Magkakaroon na siya ng ibang ecosystem for applications. So, at the end, browser, kahit saan yan, it will run. Wala na, mag, wala na magre-restrict. No more restrictions. 